All right, so in this episode, we're gonna jump over to the React code base, the React application, and we're gonna go ahead and fetch the uh, the channels, the guild channels, uh, from the update welcome message page. Now, on this update welcome message page, we actually will need to fetch the guild configuration as well. Uh, the reason why is because we actually need to know which channel is currently selected, so that way we can display to the user uh, which channel that they currently have set. So this is going to require us to make two API calls. So we'll go ahead and set that up on the React application. So uh, we already have the, the function get guild config, so we don't need to actually create this again, but we will need to create another function right now. So, let's, so make sure you go inside api.ts. We're going to create a function called get guild channels. And I'm actually going to call this get guild text channels. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it alone like this for now. Okay. And this is going to require us to have the guild ID. And we're going to go ahead and call axios.get. Okay. We're going to pass in the API URL. And the URL is going to be, the path is going to be slash discord, slash guilds, the guild ID, slash channels. Pass in the config as well, the Axios config. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create another custom hook. I'm gonna call this use fetch uh, guild channels.tsx. Okay, uh, actually, you know, I'm, I'm actually gonna call this use welcome page. So this hook is going to be responsible for fetching two endpoints and managing its state. So use welcome page, we're going to need the guild ID. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the use effect hook. And let me just pass in the empty dependency array. And then we're going to, re we're going to return some state variables in just a second. So I'm going to create the state variables real quick. The state variables are going to be this. So for the first one, we're going to have the guild config. Okay, because we need the guild config because we need to figure out which which uh, channel is currently set to send messages to the user when they first join, when, when they join the server. So we're going to need to set that up. So uh, we actually already have a use guild config hook, um, but I'm not going to actually use this. So I'm going to reuse the type though. So I'm going to set the guild config type like that. You know, actually, I think, actually, you know what? I think it might be better if we... Uh, the reason why I'm, I don't want to reuse the use fetch guild config hook is because what I essentially want to do on this welcome message page is I want to I want to actually fetch both data together. And then once that's done, I want to actually, uh, I want to do another thing too, which is um, figure out which element needs to be selected. So that's why, that's, that's why I don't want to use both of those hooks. I want to kind of combine uh, let me see if it makes sense. I mean, we could, we could actually reuse this hook. That wouldn't really be, that it wouldn't be problematic. But the only problem is that it we we risk having both the config, as well as the uh, the channels being undefined at different times or being populated at different times. And I don't really want that. So that way, so what I want to essentially do is I want to populate both pieces of information first. And then, uh, and then set the status of loading to false. So that way, we can actually allow the user to interact with the page. It, it all makes sense once I actually once we actually fetch data. So let me go ahead and create the state variable for channels. So for the channels, the type is going to be that same type that we created on the back end. So if you recall in the in in the last episode. We actually created this partial guild channel type. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that from the API backend, the backend code, and paste that inside this types.ts file. And then we're going to go ahead and type annotate that. And it's going to be an array of partial guild channels. So we'll first fetch, uh, we'll, we'll call it get guild config first. And this is going to give us the config. 
And then once we're done with this, what I want to do is I want to do another. I want to handle the promise. And uh, let me actually, actually, you know what? I could, I could actually do this. Uh, we're gonna call another. We're gonna call, once we set the config. We're gonna call. Uh, get guild channels. Okay. Uh, this is, oh, and we have to pass in the guild ID. So, like that. Okay, and then to handle this. Uh, oh, whoops. I got a passing guild ID. We get guild config as well. Okay, and to handle the API call, the, the, to handle this promise over here, we can just use a promise chain. So, call dot ten again. Get the data. And then call set channels. Pass in data like that. And then if at any point this errors out, you can just catch it right over here. Okay, and then we're going to set the loading variable as well. So we'll call set loading, pass in true, and we'll call finally set loading, set that to false. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to return config channels. Okay. So now inside the welcome message page, what we can essentially do is we can call this hook. And what I'm going to do, so const config channels loading use welcome page. We're going to need to pass in the guild ID so to get the guild ID. We can get it the same way that we got it from the category page or the guild prefix page. We can consume the context. Just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this part of code, paste it over here, and then pass in that guild ID over here. Okay, so now that we've done that, we should be able to have all of the information that we need. And of course, we can display the spinner if we want to, but I'm going to ignore that for now. So if I go into the console, you can see that right over here in the console, I can see the guild config and I can also see the, uh, the guild channels as well. Okay. And what we need to do first, so this is going to be a little bit tricky. Because we need to find out which channel is actually the one that is selected. Um, so I think the best thing that we could do is this. Uh, well, first off, we need to actually we, we actually need to restructure this whole options section because we're not going to hard code the options. We're going to we're going to uh, render them based off of the channels array. So, for example, we're going to need to reference channels. We're going to call map. Okay, uh, whoops, not guild, channel. Okay, and we're going to basically return an array of options, right? And uh, what we can do is we can actually do this. Actually, it's actually not even that difficult. I just realized what we can do for selected, we can say if channel.id is equal to config dot welcome channel ID. So if these two things are equal, then this will be selected. Okay, and let's go ahead and set the value as well to channel dot ID. And then for the text, we'll do pound symbol channel dot name like that. Yeah, that didn't that didn't really seem too complicated to be honest. There we go. You can see new users is actually the channel that is selected. So if I refresh, let's go ahead and select the server. There we go. Now, what happens if I go to BMW server? Uh, where I actually, I think in BMW server, there actually isn't a channel that is set. Yeah, because you can see that this is the only server. I only have one server where the welcome channel ID is set. So what we should do um, is if the, if the channel is not set, right? So you can see right over here that this is null. Right, welcome channel ID is null for this config. If I, if I go into the console log, you can see that this is the only channel that exists and welcome channel ID is null. Uh, so what we can do 
is um let's see i don't know why it doesn't go to please select the channel though because that's what it should do uh let me see maybe it's because i have it set to disable let me find out yeah i think it's because uh please select the channel is disabled so that's probably why yeah but if i go to lexus server you can see that it goes to new user great okay yeah that that's fine Okay, and you can see that when I actually went to this, when I actually visited this page, you can see that it jumps between please select the channel to new users, and that's not what I want. So we can actually fix that easily by just uh, checking the status of checking the API status. So what I'll do is this. So let's copy this div right over here. So if channels and config and not loading. I know it's kind of long-winded, but we'll go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we'll use a flex box and render a spinner. And let's see how that works out. So perfect that's i like that so you can see that there we go so that way it ignores that uh that perfect okay great so that's pretty much it for fetching the guild channels on the front end so in the next episode we're going to actually set up uh updating the uh the welcome the welcome channel on the front and the back end so i'll see you all in the next episode peace out